Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov issued a stern warning to the United States on September 4th, cautioning against crossing Russia's red lines in the ongoing conflict with Ukraine. The remarks follow reports that the US is nearing an agreement to supply Ukraine with long-range JASIM cruise missiles capable of striking deep into Russian territory. In a pointed response to the potential delivery of these missiles, Lavrov criticized Washington for allegedly losing sight of the mutual deterrence that has historically governed the US-Russia relations. He described the potential escalation as dangerous and a serious misjudgment of Russia's strategic boundaries. I won't be surprised by anything. The Americans have already crossed the threshold they set for themselves, Lavrov told a Russian TV interviewer. He expressed skepticism that the US and its allies understood the gravity of their actions, implying that Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky was exploiting the situation. The remarks reflect ongoing tensions between Moscow and Washington, exacerbated by increased military aid to Ukraine, including tanks, advanced missiles and F-16 fighter jets. Lavrov's comments came in the wake of Ukraine's recent military actions, which have intensified debate among Western politicians about the efficacy and risks of continued support for Kyiv. President Vladimir Putin has consistently warned against efforts to undermine Russia's strategic interests since initiating what he terms a special military operation in Ukraine in 2022. Despite Putin's warnings and the presence of Russia's vast nuclear arsenal, the West has maintained its military support for Ukraine, with some Western leaders even suggesting that Putin's nuclear rhetoric may be a bluff. Lavrov emphasized that while Washington may believe it can manage the risks of escalation, the consequences of any further provocation would not be confined to Europe alone. They shouldn't joke about our red lines, Lavrov cautioned, underlining the seriousness with which Russia views these potential developments. We need the abilities to really and fully protect Ukraine and Ukrainians. This is Ukrainian President Zelensky asking for help from Western nations. Now it looks like he has been heard. According to a report by the Reuters, the United States is on the brink of finalizing an agreement to provide Ukraine with long-range cruise missiles, a move that could have profound implications for the ongoing conflict with Russia. According to US officials, the deal, while not yet officially confirmed, could see Ukraine receive joint air-to-surface standoff missiles, JSM, as part of a broader weapons package expected to be announced this autumn. However, the delivery of these powerful munitions is not imminent. The potential inclusion of JSMs in Ukraine's arsenal marks a significant shift in the strategic landscape of the conflict. These missiles, known for their stealth and precision, would extend Ukraine's striking capabilities deep into Russian territory. Military analysts have pointed out that this could drastically alter the dynamics on the battlefield by forcing Russia to push its staging areas and supply depots further back from the front lines. Sending JASIMs to Ukraine could significantly alter the strategic landscape of the conflict by putting more of Russia in range of powerful, precision-guided munitions. Ukraine's current missile inventory is limited in range, but the introduction of JSMs would allow strikes on key Russian military installations as far away as Voronezh and Bryansk from Ukraine's northern border. In the south, the missiles could target crucial airfields or naval facilities in Crimea, areas that have been heavily contested throughout the conflict. The JSM, developed by Lockheed Martin, 
has thus far only been integrated into US-designed aircraft. Ukraine is set to receive several dozen F-16, each capable of carrying two of these missiles. Reuters also mentioned that US officials mentioned the efforts to adapt the JSSM for use with Ukraine's Soviet-era fighter jets, including the MiG-29, Su-24 and Su-27, a capability that has not been reported previously. The Biden administration's cautious approach reflects ongoing concerns about escalating the conflict. The US has so far been reluctant to supply weapons that could strike deep inside Russia, fearing that such actions could provoke a broader confrontation or even draw NATO countries into the war. Also one congressional staffer mentioned in the report noted, Giving Ukraine JSMs would also add pressure for Washington to drop restrictions on how Ukraine uses U.S. weaponry because their effects would be limited if they were not cleared for use on targets inside Russia. The JSM's capabilities are formidable. Older models have a range of approximately 230 miles and are designed to evade radar detection. They can fly close to the ground and follow complex routes to avoid air defences. A longer range variant, capable of flying over 500 miles, is also available, though it remains unclear which version the US might supply to Ukraine.